From top developers selling Robux to avoid low defex rates to players selling in-game items and game passes for money too, the Roblox black market has grown to one of the biggest in the gaming industry and keeps on growing to this day. With hundreds of listings on eBay and thousands of participants on Discord and Reddit servers. But how did it get this big? Like didn't Roblox shut down the black market two years ago? And Will this battle between Roblox and the black markets ever end? To find out, let's go back where it all started. Limited items, assumingly. It's October 2009 and the first ever limited item is here, the green bow tie. And it was an instant hit. Limited items provided value and players started to invest in these limited items. And now with hundreds of limited items and tons of items worth a heck a lot of money, players are making tens of thousands of dollars from it. You can say that limited items became Roblox's own stock market. But just like they say, when it is good, there is always evil. Some players started to take advantage of the demand for these rare items and sold them directly to players to avoid the low devex rates. You see, even if you sell an item and profit 100,000 robux and devex that, you'd only get $350. But on the other hand, if you sold that exact same item on the black market, you'd get around $500 to $1,000. This made traders attracted to the idea of underground trading. Ah oh, man, I wish I had some Robux for the new Dominus. My parents won't even buy me one Robux. I heard that some players are selling their items for real money. Wait, I got an idea. It's around 2016 and the black market just got a lot bigger. Black market websites such as RBX Place appeared and many players took notice. It soon became one of the biggest underground marketplaces in the Roblox community. The marketplace sold limited items and Robux for way less than in the official Roblox marketplace. Then how do sellers make a profit? Well, this is how these websites work. Let's say you want to sell your limited item for 200,000 Robux. If you'd sell this item on Roblox, after all the marketplace tax and low defex rates, you would be left with $490. On the contrary, with these websites, even after marketplace tax, you'll be left with more than $600. This makes it a win-win for sellers and buyers, as buyers would save thousands of Robux and sellers would profit a lot more. It also became the perfect place for hackers to sell their limited items which caused many problems such as poisoned items, but let's talk more about that later. These websites made underground trading way easier to sell and buy items and Robux, but the black market's expansion didn't stop there. Hey, you, want my MM2 guns for your pets? It's 2020 and Roblox is bigger than ever. With the pandemic and everyone locked in their rooms, the Roblox player base exploded. Games such as Adopt Me, Royal High, and Murder Mystery 2 started to blow up. All of these games were very different from one another, but they had one thing in common. Tradable items. Adopt Me for its pets, Royal High for its cosmetics, and Murder Mystery for its knife and gun skins. Many people started to dream of these rare items since having these items was a symbol of coolness and wealth. But I mean, who wants to grind for hours for a stupid item that they'll forget about in 6 months, right? So players started to realize that rather than grinding for hours on end, buying it would be much easier and faster. It's a win-win for people who grind and want money and people who are lazy or don't have time. Many of these trades took place in third-party apps such as eBay and Reddit, but one of the biggest players of them all is Discord servers. Discord servers like this one, where it's basically a one-stop shop for all games, or like this one, where it acts like a normal trading server and even has rules for no cross-trading, but when you open the trading channel, 
you can see a lot of people offering their items for money. Even trusted traders and mods cross trade in this so called no cross trading server. But it wasn't just players who were using the black markets. It's said that top developers and clothing designers use the black market to sell the robux that they've earned. Due to the low defex rate and strict guidelines to be in the program, many developers and designers resort to selling their earned robux on black market websites. Designers such as this guy sell their robux on reddit through game passes and group funds. Selling robux through the black market became the perfect way to maximize profits for developers and designers. It's June 2021 and Roblox did it. After years, they finally shut down one of the biggest black market websites, rbx.place. Although there isn't much information about this shutdown, it's said that Roblox sued this website to close down. But now, let's jump back into the present. Today, the black market is bigger than ever, with new websites emerging and hundreds of listings on eBay and Discord servers. It seems like the black market keeps on growing without any signs of stopping. But how? How does the black market keep growing despite Roblox shutting down one of the biggest websites? Well, there are three big reasons for this. Firstly, Roblox is filled with games that have some kind of trading system. If you see the top 10 popular games on Roblox, most of them have tradable items meaning that there is always going to be a demand for rare items. And unless the demand will go down, there will always be players who will pay for these items. And not to mention, with the introduction of UGC limited items and its controversial marketplace fees and features, we can expect the demand for the use of black markets will go up. The second reason is that most cross trades are untraceable. Most underground trades are done in third-party apps and websites, so it's basically impossible to track and moderate players that cross-trade. Lastly, the never-ending number of black market websites. Despite Roblox's effort to shut down major websites and ban players, many new websites emerge such as this gambling site where players gamble their money for limited items, or this site that is said to be a rebrand of rbx.place and is run under new management. And many other websites still exist with hundreds of users every day. These are only a few reasons why Roblox can't beat the black market's growth. But did you know that this battle might affect normal players like you and me? For starters, there are quite a lot of scammers on the black market. If that's overvaluing in-game items on eBay or breaking promises. And many players fall into these scams. There are also many sketchy websites like these that might fish your account. But the biggest problem of them all is hackers. Many of the limited items sold on the black market are stolen items. You see, when a player gets their account hacked, the players can contact Roblox to report their stolen account and limited items. And typically, Roblox would delete that account. So many items that people buy on these websites get deleted after a time. But that doesn't stop hackers. With UGC limited items and more demand for cheap limited items and Robux, there's no doubt that there will be more hackers to steal and sell limited items. With Roblox's never-ending growth and popularity of tradable items on the platform, it's without a doubt that Roblox will have a very tough time with its black market. But with Roblox's enlistment in the stock market and having to keep up with its reputation of safety for all ages, we can only hope that Roblox will take legal action and moderate these accounts more thoroughly. But the most important thing is that everyone watching here to be careful and never participate in any cross trades.